Tracy Talks in the Yeah, I'm trying really, really hard to get into the Christmas spirit, but wow. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what it is about Christmas. Either uh, people become stupid or all the stupid people all happen to come out at once. Um, I don't know what it is. Did I say that? Am I allowed to say that? So many idiots on the road, so many, just too many people. I just, I can't even go to the supermarket and get some milk. You know, it's just, uh, yeah. Anyway, I, uh, yeah, we're not going to, I'm not going to play any happy Christmas music. Sorry. <laughs> I would rather find a deserted island to escape to. Um, we're going to get into it. I'm going to get into it. Talking about our new music for this Friday, this week. Uh, pretty good stuff, I tell you. First first girl I'm going to talk about, she looks quite young. She's a contemporary R&B singer-songwriter. Her name is Faye. She's uh, very, very, very soulful, very commanding vocals combined with like this raw and honest lyrics. Um, really nice. Look, I'm just going to jump into it and play it. This is... Um, a brand new track from Faye. This is her uh, debut EP, actually. One of her tracks from her debut EP called Crisis. Sweat and shame on these sheets. Wishing I could sink in. Wishing I could sink. Waking here on repeat. Shadows fill my mind I won't stand to watch you leave Fill me up but I'm still empty Using you, using me Use myself so desperately See what I'm talking about? Now listen to this next chick. Um, I, I can say that because I am one too. But this this next uh, artist, her name is Kelsey Carter, she completely blows me away. She, her, her influences have been the likes of Queen and the Beatles and the Rolling Stone, but she mixes it up with a combination of this, just got this like a rebellious nature, very nomadic spirit and just a, and a, just a huge talent, like 
and the vibe is incredible. I want you to take a listen to this. Seriously, this is Kelsey Carter and uh, one of her her very latest tracks called Catch Me If You Can. I ran away with only 10 bucks in my pocket and a 20,000 ransom from my head. My baby said I didn't take it like you wanted, so I kissed him on the neck and shot him dead. He's such an artist, I would paint a broken promise, now he's laying on the floor covered in red. Hey, and if I'm honest, kill the man to keep him modest, yeah, he broke me, so I had to get revenge. So I had to take him out <laughs> Now that is that is fierce. I really like that. That's the sort of you know that's the sort of rock stuff I really love. Um, that was Kelsey Carter, by the way. Uh, check out her video clip; it's pretty good too. We've uh, do we have that on the site? But look, we've got all the links there anyway. So check her out. Um, now I'm just going to uh, let you know about something that is going on at the moment. That is uh, nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with any of us. But uh, have you heard the news? Uh, Facebook. Oh boy, they're now in the middle of a, 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 a they're being sued, okay, because they've also uh, just been, well, found out that um, they've been selling all the information to Amazon, to Spotify, to to, to uh, Microsoft, and they're also being sued now. So I'm not sure what's going to happen in the future of Facebook. Who knows? Um Let's just watch this space. Uh, Anyway, also, I just really also want to say thank you very much to Ghostly Beard for sending me this amazing microphone. Um, I'm actually, no, I'm not using it at the moment. I haven't taken it out the box because I just wanted to set it up properly and do all the right things. So um, I I will be using it very, very soon. And thank you so much, Ghostly Beard. It it did arrive. um, Santa does exist. 
And I was going to tell you something else. Uh, maybe I'll remember next time. So in the meantime, I'm going to play another track. This is this guy is called The Benj. He has got a brand new track called Louder. And The Benj, actually, we know uh, he's been on the site before. And he's also he also has done some work in Melbourne, believe it or not. He's not from Australia. He's actually, at, he seems to travel around a lot. He's based, or well, he's not based, but at the moment, where is he? He's in, um, I'm just reading where he is. He's somewhere, somewhere in the world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's based no, he's based in Sardinia. So there you go. Now he's in Sardinia. But look, he's a rapper. He's a singer songwriter. This is his latest track. It's called Louder. So take a listen to the bench. <laughs> Actually, um, there's you know some hip hop um, and rap sounds a lot. Well, they all sound quite similar to me, but there's ones that stand out and that does you know they they show something different. And that's one of the different ones I like. There's some other great really hip hop artists that I, maybe I'm, I'll play next time. Maybe I'll play my favourite tracks next time. Um, look, we're only going to play. I'm only going to play four tracks um, this week. But keep in mind, we do have more up on the site. We actually have a brand new video up on the site that I'd love to let you know about. We don't have the track to play now, but the video is up on his page now. Now, this guy that I'm talking about, uh, he, he's, he's, he, oh, 
like I was just so impressed when I saw this and then I read a bit more about him and it kind of explains why he's actually performed with some big names uh what are who are the big names they're like Katy Perry and Kesha and Sarah Bareilles and Mary J Blige and and so when I saw that I thought oh well yeah it's obvious because he is so good anyway who I'm talking about he's called he goes by the name of Bridesman he's based in Los Angeles his actual name is Kenton Chen he's an indie neo soul R&B singer songwriter and check check him out please because it's it's really really good stuff and the story behind it I want you to read the story um yeah I I do I'm not going to say much more about it because unfortunately I don't have the track here to play I really wish I did um but I don't but um yeah just to let you know about that but the before I also play the last track, because we're going to probably end it from the last track anyway, um, I just really want to wish you guys all a great Christmas. If you're spending it with family um, that you don't normally see, please try and be nice. It only lasts for a day. And, uh, <laughs> you know, I know what I know. I know what family can be like. But, um yeah, and if you're on your own, uh, grab some great horror movies, man, and 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 a bottle of wine or something and some nibblies and enjoy yourself, you know. Um, I, I know, yeah. We're not doing a big thing this Christmas. We I haven't even done my Christmas shopping and there's two days to go. Uh, I don't think it's going to happen this year for us. This is the first time ever. Um, it, it's just been one of those years. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what's happened. They'll probably just get money from me and I swore I'd never, ever do that. Um, Yeah, but look, I really wish you all a great Christmas. I'm not sure if we're going to be having the show next week. DJ, Struth Mate, uh, not sure. Let me know. Uh, Yeah, because I'm not sure how much new music we're going to have coming in being Christmas week. It's quite a slow period. You can tell it's slow all around, especially on social media. Um, You can tell it's slow with, you know, people are slowing down. People are getting ready for the for Christmas uh so we're not sure I'm not sure I I I don't know but um look oh one other thing I did an interview with uh Ali's Attic last week and it was uh the only kind of interview that I've ever done uh talking personally about my private life and I've never really let anybody know what goes on in my private life so I this this is a really big thing for me if you want to check it out check it out on Ali's Attic Um, you know she's a wonderful lady she she gets to the heart of um, the heart of really really important topics and I did talk about um, depression anxiety and suicide um, which unfortunately does run in my family so uh, and what I deal with on a day-to-day basis. So, yeah, but look, let's get let's get on to a Christmas and a lighter note and let's play this last track um, for you. Uh, what is the last track? Oh, yeah, these guys are great. Ocean Potion. These are brand new artists. They This is their first release, I believe. It's their very first release and they're pretty good and I'm obviously I'm playing them because I think they're pretty good and uh, they're, they're a duo from Toronto, actually. This is, like I said, their first full-length they call it an LP. I think that's funny. Um, I haven't heard that for a long time. LP. LP is long playing, means album. So uh, look, take a listen. This is called Ocean Potion by Ocean Potion. Merry Christmas, everybody. And if I don't see you next week, I will see you the following week. Take care. Yeah. 
Music, Music talks, 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 talks